Welcome to Shape by Faith, a special series led by health and fitness expert Teresa Rowe. Get ready for an entertaining and spirit-led adventure while learning ways you can become fit in your body, mind, and spirit. Now here's Teresa. Go ahead and place your weights up with your palms facing in. This set we're working on the chest and the shoulders and of course the legs. Step out into a squat, then come up and go out into a fly. And opposite side, same thing. Just move side to side, inhale lower, exhale, bring those arms out. You don't have to be in a hurry at all. Take your time. Be very careful how you live. Not as unwise, but as wise. Listen to this, making the most of every opportunity, right? Because we know the days are evil. I mean, just turn on the news, look around, see what's going on in the world. So make every opportunity to share with someone the love that you have for Jesus, what he has done for you in your life, right? Being kind to people, I mean, that speaks volumes. Just be kind to people and uh, listen, listen to them. Everyone needs someone to listen to, right? Feeling this through the chest and through the shoulders. So you're exhaling as you're coming back, inhale as you lower down, and feeling this in that mid-back as well. Remember to keep those shoulders down and the belly pulled in tight, right? Feeling this a lot through our legs. One more of these. Very nice. Going into a curtsy, so you're gonna bring one leg back, hold right there, and then switch legs. Easy peasy, right? Just side to side. What I'm gonna do is alternate my shoulders. I'm gonna press, curtsy, and then press. I want you to take these a little slower, focused in on legs and shoulders. Be wise in the way that you act towards people that you don't know, okay? Be wise. And if the Lord has you around people that you don't necessarily know, He's got you there for a reason, okay? So use wisdom and ask the Lord what you should say or do or how you should interact with them, okay? He has them there in front of you for a reason. And it may be for you. Maybe they have a word of wisdom or knowledge to give you. Last one. Now I love this next one. It's a bent fly. So I call this kind of like a little baby squat. So we're gonna go down, sit back in the hips. I want you to find that position, keep the belly pulled in. Arms are down, palms facing one another. And you're just gonna simply bring those arms up and then back down. Let's bring them up and down. If that bothers you, just stand up and that's fine too. All right, working the mid back here. Try to keep that head neutral and your neck neutral. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, right? The word says, fools despise wisdom and instruction. So let's make sure that we stay wise in the way of the Lord, wise in our everyday life. All right, we're gonna keep going on this one. So if you need a break, you go ahead and take it, okay? But we're taking our time, reverse fly, working that mid-back thoracic spine area, working the chest and our shoulders. And we're in this bent position, staying back in the heels, really stable through the core, feeling this also through the glutes as we hold this position. So doing an isometric exercise for the legs. All right, keep going. You're doing fantastic, I know you are. 
breathe, enjoy the Lord. Think about that joy that you have in your heart because of Him. Last one, and then stand up. How'd you do with that one? Okay, this next one, I'm going to put the weights aside. And you certainly can choose to use them. But I'm gonna bring one leg out, one arm up, and just bring that elbow to the knee. So you're gonna feel this through the obliques and your legs and your hips, okay, and your shoulders. So lift and lower. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord, and please stay away from evil, okay? Fear the Lord and stay away from evil. Pretty good advice, isn't it? All right, notice your breathing pattern right here. Exhale, you don't have to go fast. Of course, you can if you want to, but we're not gonna be in a hurry on this one, okay? Let's do that three more times. One more. Nice, same thing, the opposite arm and the opposite leg. Just bring that knee up, good. A wise son, I would also say daughter here, heeds their father's instruction, right? But a mocker does not respond to discipline. They don't. They don't have ears to hear it. They don't wanna hear it. We need to make sure that our ears are wide open when the Lord is speaking to us. And when he's disciplining us, you know, I asked the Lord to discipline me quickly and to get it over quickly. Ever since I became a Christian, I've asked him to do that. And he certainly does that. He shows me by his Holy Spirit where I need to be disciplined. Last one. Go ahead and pick up the weights again. We are working on outer thighs in biceps. So the right leg just extends out and your left arm comes up just like that. To the person who pleases him, are you living your life to please God? Are your actions pleasing God? What you're doing in your home pleasing God? What about your words and your thoughts? To the person who pleases him, God gives him wisdom, knowledge, and happiness. I mean, that's a lot of things. Think about that. Wisdom, knowledge, and happiness. Wow. Let's live our life as a pleasing and holy example for the Lord, not for anyone else but for God alone. Let's switch out the legs. So your opposite leg goes out, bring it in. Opposite arm goes up, and we're working the biceps and the outer thighs. Wisdom that comes from heaven. First of all, it's pure, and it's peace-loving. It's considerate, submissive. It is full of mercy, it's good fruit impartial and sincere. So that wisdom, where are you getting your wisdom from? Is it filled with love? Is it filled with goodness and kindness? Think about that, where is it coming from? All right, continue moving, working on the thighs and your biceps. And I love the next exercise, I love them all, but I love the next one especially. All right, last one. Going into a T-stance. So, it's a wide position for the legs. One arm in front, palm facing out. This arm, I'm just gonna keep it down. I'm gonna lower down and then come up. Just take my time with this. Take your time. Fools give full vent to their rage. But the wise bring calm in the end, okay? So if you're having some issues, with anger and rage, Jesus Christ will help you with it. He will help you with anything that you struggle with. And maybe, maybe that rage is coming from something 
deep down in you from years ago that you don't even know you're still struggling with. Wisdom is asking the Lord to show you whatever it is that needs to be uprooted and turned over and given to Jesus. So do you ever find yourself like raging? You don't get your way and you wanna throw something across the room. I mean, I've thrown pillows before. And uh, in my mind, I've, you know, thought about different things when I get so angry. And then the Holy Spirit, like I said, always convicts me. And I'm like, Lord, please forgive me of my thoughts. Please forgive me, Father. I remember one time I got so angry with my husband. And it was over something so silly. It really was. And you know, I pulled the silent act on him. I'm just not gonna speak to him. Well, actually, he probably enjoyed that because he loves quiet. <laughs> but he knew I was angry and we just laughed about it before we went to bed. I'm like, please forgive me. He said, oh, I already have. I'm like, you enjoyed yourself, didn't you? And he's like, yeah, pretty much. Okay, let's go into the next side. Let's lower down and then come on back up. This verse says the wise woman, Teresa, hear this. Ladies out there, hear this. The wise woman builds her house with her own hands and the foolish one tears her house down. Okay, so that doesn't mean you go out there and get, you get lumber. I mean, it could. Building the house, I couldn't do that at all. There is no way. Um, but what it means is you build your house on the foundation of love on the foundation of scriptures, on the foundation of Jesus Christ, on kindness, humility, right? Selflessness, thinking about others before you think about yourself. That's building that strong foundation and keeping it. Raising your children in the ways of the Lord for those who have children. And for those who have grandchildren, it's not too late. You know, if you didn't raise your own children in the ways of the Lord, you know, don't beat yourself up over that. Ask God to forgive you, but your children, that's another chance to raise those children when you're around them in the ways of the Lord. And God will bless you for it. All right, we're almost there. Last one. Now, the next one, we only need one weight and you don't even have to use a weight if you don't want to so we're going back into a wider stance and I'm going to take the weight behind the knee and then bring it out in front weave it in and out of the legs okay and at the same time stay back in your heels pull the belly in listen to advice and accept discipline all right, and at the end, you will be counted among the wise. So if we want wisdom, ask the Lord for wisdom. Read the word, act it out in your life. Um, as the Lord disciplines you, listen. Make the corrections with his help, okay? All right, keep going. I like this one too because it really stretches the legs, works on coordination at the same time. And that breathing pattern is right there. One more. And then step it in. Nice job. Thank you for allowing me in your home today. I hope you're motivated to continue preparing yourself to be the best you can be as we continue exercising and praising God together. He will bless our bodies and hearts for his purposes. It is God who made us and he breathed his spirit in us so that we can encourage others to live for him. Until next time, friends, may the Lord bless you, keep you safe, healthy, strong in your spirit, mind, and body.